inside of a French drain. You can probably see here, we got the waterproof on, we have the fabric, we have the pipe here. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna give you guys a real behind the scenes look on what it takes to install a French drain system the right way. There's three to four parts to it, depending on your application. I hope you enjoy, for I believe it's one of the first of its kind on YouTube to show you a true in the field look behind a retaining wall installing a French drain system. Here's the inside look of a French drain system. The actual French drainage system. So you got your filter fabric here and here. You got your waterproof membrane or tarpane or whatever you want to call it here. You have your drain rock here and then you have the drain pipe here. So these are the, pretty much the three or four elements Four French drain system, waterproofing on the back of the wall, filter fabric, drain rock, and drain pipe. And we use the SDR35 pipe as opposed to the black rigid one. And here you have a there you have a clean out. We put those about every 20 to 25 feet, just in case something gets uh, clogged up. I'm gonna go in a little closer here. And you can probably see the filter fabric that's already covering the drain rock. There we're just gonna add dirt on top of it and fill it up in case the customer wanna put some plants and so forth. But here's an example, we haven't covered this part up yet, but this will be covered up with filter fabric, dump dirt on top, and then that'll complete the uh, backfilling of the retaining wall for a French drain system. So now we got the fabric on top of the drain block. So again, we put some waterproof membrane on the back of the wall, put the filter fabric, put the drain rock, and here's the other side of the filter fabric. We'll wrap this over, they call it a burrito wrap. What this does is keep, the fabric keeps the soil here from penetrating into the rock and clogging it up and so forth. So this part is very important to separate the rock from the dirt. Because if not, over time, all this dirt will start leaking in here, which will clog the pipe. So we'll put it up like this, bend it over. On top of all of this here will be dirt. And most of the time it has to be an engineered backfill, which means it has to be able to be compacted by a compactor or sheet foot or so forth. So there you go, that's the inside look of a French drain system. If you're in the Bay Area, you're looking for something, look at the link below, set up an estimate, and we'll be happy to come out. Everywhere else, thanks for looking. And I hope it helps you out with your project. We have to finish this side here. But you can see this fabric. Hold on one second. This fabric will cover that up. Hopefully you guys can see that. But this fabric here will cover this dirt, throw the drain rock in, and so forth. But we got to wait for an inspection on this part here. And this pipe will come all the way out. Daylight here. You can probably see that cone there. With that stake there, it says SD on it, storm drain they're gonna put in, which this will tie into. And then we'll close this out as well. So you can see here, now we got the dirt all filled in. It's about 20 yards of dirt that we had to bring in. Still gotta add one more block but that dirt would probably be topsoil for its plants and so forth. So this pretty much completes a backfill. All right, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please hit the like and leave a comment below. To stay updated on our latest videos, please subscribe and hit the bell button.